the science which deals with study of fruits is called pomology. Actually, fertilized ovary is called fruit, but in some plants, without fertilization, ovary forms fruit. If without fertilization, ovary forms fruit, it is called parthenocarpy and such fruits are called parthenocarpic fruits. Generally, parthenocarpic fruits are seedless. Example for parthenocarpic fruits, musa means a banana and a, a grapes. So, in parthenocarpic fruits, seeds are absent, but uh, some parthenocarpic fruits like a banana, in banana that uh, false seeds present, because without fertilization that ovule forms seed, so it is without embryo. So, such seeds are called pseudo seeds, they fail to germinate. One is false fruit and second one true fruit. So, two types of fruits false and true fruits and false fruit. False fruit means except ovary, if any other part of flower forms a fruit, it is called false fruit and a false fruits are also called pseudo carbs. Example for false fruit, one is apple, scientific name is pyrus malus, in apple edible part is thalamus and second one anacardium, anacardium cashew nut in which edible part is pedicel. These are about false fruits. Actually true fruits means if fertilized ovary or if ovary forms fruit after fertilization called true fruits. Generally true fruits are three types, simple fruits, then second one aggregative fruits and the third one multiple or a compound or a composite fruits, three types. So, first one simple fruit, simple fruit it is developed from single ovary of a flower, the fruit is developed from single ovary of a flower called simple fruits. Simple fruits again classified into two types. One is fleshy fruits and second one dry fruits, fleshy and dry fruits. Fleshy fruits in which entire fruit is fleshy except seeds. If entire fruit is fleshy and except seeds called a fleshy fruits and in fleshy fruits after the decay of pericarp or a fruit wall that the seeds are released called fleshy fruits types of fleshy fruits, one is berry, then 
warm, paper, then droop and hesperidium. These are types of fleshy fruits. So, first one berry, berry is characteristic fruit of Solanaceae. This characteristic fruit of Solanaceae. Berry, it is developed from, generally it is developed from bicarpillary, syncarpus and a superior ovary in Solanaceae, tomato and even chilli. In some plants, this a berry fruit is developed from inferior ovary inferior ovary example coffee and even musa banana and in coffee edible pot is perisperm and uh, identification for berry identification for berry in which mesocarp and endocarp fuse to form pulp. It is berry. Next one, poem. Poem fruit is developed from Bayar multicarpillary, syncarpus, and superior ovary superior over and in poem true fruit present at center true fruit contains hard pericarp and also seeds and is hard pericarp present in that a droop and in poem true fruit is surrounded by false edible thalamus. Example, apple, then berry, poem, next one pepo. Pepo, it is characteristic fruit of cucurbitaceae. It is characteristic fruit of cucurbitaceae. So, characteristic fruit of cucurbitaceae so, fruit is developed from tricarpillary, syncarpus, unilocular ovary with a parietal placentation. And in pepo, epicarp fuse with thalamus and forms a rind. Then mesocarp is fleshy and endocarp edible. Example, is that a cucurbita? Then next one, next one droop. So, droop is single seeded fleshy fruit. So, generally fleshy fruits multi seeded, but droop it is single seeded uh, fleshy fruit and droop is developed from monocarpillary unilocular superior ovary in mango, in a coconut, this droop is developed from tricarpillary syncarpus ovary. In both coconut and mango, coconut and mango, in both fruits, epicarp is leathery. In both fruits, epicarp is coriaceous, means epicarp is leathery. In both fruits, endocarp is hard. So, because of that, droops are called stones or stony fruits. Difference between 
main edible part in mango mesocarp is edible in mango in coconut mesocarp is fibrous coconut mesocarp is fibrous this is drupe then next one hesperidium hesperidium fruit it is characteristic fruit of root ac family or orange family citrus example and uh, this uh, hesperidium fruit develop from multicarpellary multicarpellary syncarpus multilocular and uh, a superior ovary then point in this fruit epicarp leathery or epicarp is coriaceous leathery or coriaceous and this epicarp contains oil ducts this oil ducts are lysogenous cavities that cavity is formed due to lysis of cells then epicarp is formed by mesocarp mesocarp is thin and papery then endocarp here in this fruit endocarp forms edible juicy hairs it is about fleshy fruits so how many types five types fleshy fruits among five types drupe develop from monocarpellary and drupe is single seeded the next pepo pepo and pom they develop from inferior ovary pepo and pom pepo parietal placentation pom true fruit is surrounded by false fruit and in pepo there is a rind rind is formed by epicarp and thalamus then next one berry berry is identified by presence of pulp pulp is formed by mesocarp and endocarp then hesperidium edible part in hesperidium that is what endocarp this endocarp forms edible juicy hairs among fleshy fruits among fleshy fruits edible parts coconut edible part endosperm mango edible part mesocarp edible part is mesocarp so this is about fleshy fruits then next one dry fruits dry fruits means pericarp is dry at maturity if pericarp is dry at maturity called dry fruits actually dry fruits are divided into three groups or three types one is dry dehiscent one is dry dehiscent and second one dry indehiscent so one is dry dehiscent second one dry indehiscent and the third one is schizocarpic fruits these are three types of dry fruits in this first one dry dehiscent dry dehiscent means pericarp dry at maturity and a pericarp involved in 
liberation of roots called dry dehiscent. Types of dry dehiscent, legume, then siliqua, silicula, then follicle and a capsule. These are the types of dry dehiscent. The first one follicle, follicle and a legume, both are developed from follicle and a legume, both are developed from monocarpillary unilocular ovary. But differences follicle in which fruit breaks only one side that to ventral side follicle. Example for follicle calotropis. Then second one legume. Legume is characteristic fruit of fabaceae. Fabaceae means develop from monocarpillary unilocular marginal placentation and in legume fruit breaks both a dorsi ventrally and liberates seeds called a legume. Third one siliqua, siliqua fruit, siliqua and silicula both types of fruits common in brassicaceae old name is a crucifere in which fruit is developed from bicarpillary unilocular but it becomes bilocular due to false septum that a false septum is called a replum generally that a seeds attached to replum and after maturity this pericarp break from bottom to top and expose that a replum for a seed dispersal called siliqua example mustard another type silicula this silicula is exactly similar to siliqua but uh, this silicula contains only limited number of seeds. So, a silicua with a limited number of fruits is called a silicula. Example for silicula, capsilla bursa, common name is shepherd's purse. And uh, next type of dry days and fruit is a capsule. Next type is capsule. Here capsule means almost it shows almost all characters like capsule develop from monocarpillary or multilocular, multicarpillary, unilocular or multilocular, superior or inferior ovary. Then types of capsule, first one septicidal capsule, loculicidal capsule, septifragal capsule, then porous capsule, then pyxidium or pyxis. These are types of capsules. So, under this first one, first one septicidal, for example, septicidal means this is one carpel, second like this carpel. Then after this, this carpel grow inwards and this portion is called septa. 
so septicidal capsule if fruit wall breaks along the septa called a septicidal capsule there is example aristolochia then second one loculicidal type of capsule loculicidal here fruit wall breaks in the middle part of locule called a loculicidal capsule example bendy scientific name is abel moschus then third one septifragal capsule septifragal septifragal means it shows either septicidal or loculicidal type of dehiscence if it shows either septicidal or loculi type of loculicidal type of dehiscence called a septifragal example for septifragal datura and nicotiana septifragal third one porous capsule this porous capsule it is developed from either superior ovary or it is developed from inferior ovary it is developed from superior ovary that a pores formed on upper side example pe power it is developed from inferior that pores formed on lower side example that archimon next one pixis or pixidium pixis or pixidium means in this that a capsule it breaks pixidium in this type capsule breaks horizontally and it forms two parts lower cup like part contains seeds and upper lid example for pixidium pixidium is common in amaranthus and one is amaranthus and silosia silosia common name is cox comb in this what type of fruit is present means pixidium so these are dry dehiscent fruits next one dry indehiscent fruits dry indehiscent so next one is dry indehiscent fruits dry indehiscent fruits after the decay of pericarp that the seeds are released if after the decay of pericarp seeds released it is called dry indehiscent fruits dry indehiscent then types of dry indehiscent one is ekin ekin then caryopsis then sipsella nut and samara these are dry indehiscent fruits so first one 
ekin ekin fruit develop from monocarpellary unilocular in this type fruit wall called pericarp and seed coat or free called ekin example for ekin one is clematis and second one narvelia then second one caryopsis fruit caryopsis fruit it is catstick fruit of poac old name is a gramine and in caryopsis that fruit is developed from monocarpellary unilocular but point is in this type that a fruit wall and a pericarp are refused generally common in grains like rice wheat even maize in this edible part is endosperm next fruit next is sipsella sipsella is a catstick fruit of composite old name new name is asteraceae sipsella is characteristic fruit of composite or asteraceae the sipsella is developed from bicarpellary syncarpus inferior ovary and single ovule present at base so it is called basal placentation and sipsella fruit is characterized by the presence of calyx but how this calyx present means this calyx reduced to hairs called a pappus and during fruit dispersal the pappus open like a parachute hence it is called a parachute mechanism example for sipsella is a tridax so next fruit nut nut fruit is developed from multicarpellary nut is developed from multicarpellary then a syncarpus unilocular unilocular and single seeded but the seed is free from fruit wall among indehiscent this in nut pericarp is hard and in nut true and false fruits side by side example for nut anacardium common name is cashew nut nanacardium edible part pedicel and also cotyledons then under dry indehiscent last one is samara fruit samara fruits also called key fruits key fruits and the samara fruit is identified by the presence of wings winged fruit is actually called samara fruit and in example for this samara ventilago in ventilago style is persistent feathery and help in fruit dispersal so these are dry indehiscent fruits 
So, first one dry dehiscent, second one dry indehiscent fruits and third one that the third one is schizocarpic fruits. Schizocarpic fruits means these fruits shows both the dehiscent and indehiscent characters. If fruit shows dehiscent and indehiscent characters, such fruits are called schizocarpic fruits. Schizocarpic fruits. Then, in schizocarpic fruits, that fruit wall breaks into single seeded bits called a cocci or mericarp. They breaks, so that is dehiscent character. Then this cocci or mericarp, they contain seeds and after the decay of pe pericarp, that seeds are released, that is indehiscent character. Then types of schizocarpic fruits, one is lomentum, second one cremocarp, then regma, then carcerulus, lomentum, cremocarp, regma and uh, carcerulus. So, first one lomentum, lomentum fruit, this lomentum is a cat stick fruit of mimosaceae family. Lomentum, cat stick fruit of mimosaceae family. In this fruit is a constricted by seeds, fruits constricted by seeds. Then this fruits breaks into single seeded bits. After that, pericarp denatured, then that seeds are released. Example for lomentum, acacia. Second one, cremocarp. Cremocarp is a cat stick fruit of umbelliferae, old name and new name is APAC. Then cremocarp, fruit is developed from bicarpellary, syncarpus and inferior ovary. Then this fruit breaks into two single seeded bits called mericarps. These two mericarps attached to a stalk, that stalk is called carpophore and a carpophore is elongated part of thalamus. Example for a cremocarp is a coriander. Third type, regma, regma fruit is a characteristic fruit of Euphorbiac family, regma, cat stick fruit of Euphorbiac family. So, it is developed from Euphorbiac, developed from tricarpellary, syncarpus, trilocular and axial placentation. That is why that fruit breaks into three single seeded bits called Kokai. Example for regma that uh, euphorbia. 
next one carcerulus carcerulus right this carcerulus characteristic fruit of labiate old name new name is lamiaceae this fruit actually it is bicarpellary bilocular due to false septum it is tetralocular then that fruit breaks into four single seeded bits but that bit contains hard pericarp hence it is called nutlet example is osimum another type of schizocarpic fruit is actually schizocarp schizocarp fruit this schizocarp fruit common in malvesi family malvesi then it is developed from multicarpellary syncarpus multilocular multilocular and a superior ovary that fruit breaks into fruit breaks into single seeded bit in seeda or that fruit breaks into multi seeded bits in abutilon so these are schizocarpic fruits so under simple simple fruits fleshy and dry fruits so next second type of fruit is called aggregative fruits aggregative fruits they develop from aggregative fruits develop from multicarpellary but apocarpus pistil so each carpel develops into a small fruit called fruitlet and rightly a bunch of fruitlets are called iterio iterio of berries seen in polyaldia and even anona custard apple but in anona custard apple all these fruitlets get fused and uh, it looks like single fruit iteria of berries next one iteria of acanes for this example narvelia the next one iteria of drupes rubus common name ras berry these are aggregative fruits last one multiple fruits or compound or composite fruits compound or composite fruits multiple fruits means if fruits develop from inflorescence if fruits develop from inflorescence called a multiple compound or composite fruits this multiple fruits are two types sorosis and 
Psychonus. Sorus's fruit developed from spike, catkin, or spadix inflorescence. Catkin, casuarina. Spadix. Next one, spadix. Spadix, morus alba or mulberry. And example, another example, pineapple. And also jackfruit for sorosis. Psychonus. Also called fig. Psychonus, characteristic fruit of Moresi family. In Psychonus, pedunculus fleshy, <coughs> pedunculus fleshy and edible. Actually, upper part of peduncle contains male flowers. Lower part of peduncle, it contains female flowers. Female flowers, two types, fertile and uh, sterile. This fertile female flowers converted into Akins, rightly called multiples of Akins. So, multiple fruits, multiple fruits also called composite fruits or compound fruits. They develop from Inflorescence. Based on inflorescence, multiple fruits divided into two types. One is sorosis, it is developed from spike, catkin, or spadix. Example for sorosis. One is Ananas sativus, pineapple, and second one, jackfruit, even Morus alba, mulberry, and casuarina. Then, Psychonus or fig. It is characteristic fruit of Moresi, genus Ficus. In this, actual pedunculus fleshy and uh, edible. Then, marginal part of peduncle contains male flowers, lower side that a female flowers present. Female flowers, two types, fertile and a sterile. Sterile flowers are called gall flowers. And after fertilization, these fertile female flowers converted into fruits called achenes. So, this is about a fruit. After this, in this, uh, there is one small topic that is what means structure of seed, structure of seed. So, what is seed? Seed means fertilized ovule. So, after fertilization, ovule is converted into seed. 
and after fertilization ovary converted into fruit so now structure of seed either dicot seed and also monocot seed here seed means the seed contains seed coats outer seed coat is called a testa inner seed coat is called a tegmen rightly inside seed embryo is present and this seed contains scar called hilum hilum is the point where that fruit attached to seed then at the time of germination that embryo come out from seed it develops into axis called embryonic axis or tigellum then this tigellum contains node called embryonic node either ends of embryonic axis develops bud first formed bud called a radical later formed bud is called a plumule rightly radical gives rise to root system so embryonic root is called radical then plumule gives rise to shoot system so embryonic shoot is called plumule then this embryonic node it develops cotyledons and a cotyledons or a first formed leaves then embryonic axis between embryonic node and plumule is called epicotyle embryonic axis between embryonic node and a radical is called hypo cotyle general in dicots that seed is non endospermic so non endospermic seed present in dicots so dicots that cotyledons are often fleshy but there are some dicots like a castor in castor the seed contains endosperm so called endospermic seeds other than castor that solanaceae members in solanaceae members it is dicot family but seed is endospermic it is about dicot seed next one monocot seed in monocots actually in monocots pericarp is fused with the seed coat in monocots pericarp fused with the seed coat monocots so monocots pericarp fused with the seed coat then generally in monocot seeds are endospermic 
your dendrosperm is bulky and uh, it is surrounded by protein layer called uh, aluron layer called uh, aluron layer even monocots there is plumule then radical but only in monocots plumule and radical both are enclosed by protective layers protective layer of radical is called a coleorhiza protective layer of plumule protective layer of plumule is called a coleoptile the monocots monocots contains single large cotyledon the single large cotyledon is called a scutellum generally monocots are endospermic seeds but some monocots like orchids non endospermic orchids non endospermic seeds so next one types of seed germination types of seed germination radical plumule embryonic node cotyledons em embryonic axis between node and plumule epicotyle so it is hypocotyle so types of seed germination three types epigel hypogel and uh, vivipari so epigel epigel means in this type cotyledons become above the ground epigel cotyledons or above the ground it is due to elongation of hypocotyle second one hypogel germination hypogel in this type cotyledons or below the ground it is due to elongation of epicotyle third one it is called a vivipari or aerial seed germination it is common in a mangroves common in mangroves so what is aerial seed germination means that a seed germination takes place inside the fruit that a fruit still attached to it's a parent plant called vivi paris example mangroves now i'll discuss about key points or important points in uh, that of fruits actually only fruit producing plants only fruit producing plants are angiosperms actually flowering plants gymnosperms and angiosperms but in gymnosperms carpels are open in gymnosperms carpels are open so no formation of ovary so fruits are absent in angiosperms that carpel is converted into ovary style stigma 
So, in angiosperms, the fruits are formed. So, here points in uh, first, let us see about uh, fleshy fruits, Flesh, only in fleshy fruits, rightly fruit wall is called, fruit wall is called pericarp, only in fleshy fruits, that pericarp differentiated into three layers, epicarp, mesocarp and endocarp. So, in fleshy fruits, entire fruit is fleshy, only seeds are hard. And uh, in fleshy fruits, if question, fleshy fruit develop from single carpel, monocarpel, means a drupe. Generally, fleshy fruits are multi seeded, but uh, single seeded fleshy fruit drupe. Only fleshy fruits, in fleshy fruits, which among drupe, which layer is hard means endocarp. Endocarp is hard. So, these fruits are called stony fruits. Like that, fleshy fruits which are developed from inferior ovary. Fleshy fruits develop from inferior ovary. One is pepo and second one is pom. Fleshy fruits with a leathery or uh, coriaceous epicarp, one is esperidium and uh, second one is droop. In this, epicarp is leathery. Identification for uh, berry fruit, only berry is characterized by the presence of pulp. Pulp is formed by mesocarp and endocarp, mesocarp and endocarp. Next, pepo, identification for pepo, in pepo there is rind, rind is present, rind is formed by epicarp and thalamus. This is about fleshy fruits. Then dry fruits, dry fruits, dry fruits, only one fruit develops from semi inferior ovary, that is what means legume. Only legume is developed from dry, developed from semi inferior ovary, legume or marginal placentation, that is what? Legume, marginal placentation, legume, among dry, day, dry days and fruits. Then, dry and days and fruits, in dry and days and fruits, which dry and days and fruit develop from inferior ovary? Dry and days and fruit develop from inferior ovary, that uh, Sipsella. Sipsella, it is developed from inferior ovary. In dry and decent fruit, in which fruit pericarp is hard? Pericarp is hard means nut. Similarly, shizocarpic fruits, in shizocarpic fruits lomentum, lomentum is developed from monocarpellary, but it is divided into many single seeded bits called cocci or mericarps. Ratio of carpels to cocci or mericops, one is to many, that is what means lomentum. Among schizocarpic, only <coughs> cremocarp is developed from inferior ovary, and a cremocarp in which mericops attach to elongated part of thalamus, that is called what? Carpo. Four. 